boys and girls, this is Miss Sam again. I wanted to continue our discussion about sweet potatoes. So we were talking about sweet potatoes and I really wanted to talk about what makes a sweet potato a sweet potato versus a regular potato. So here Miss Sam has a regular potato and a sweet potato. What I wanted to talk about is what is the difference? between a sweet potato and a regular potato. Can you tell the difference between these two potatoes? So the sweet potato is what color on the outside? It's a little bit of like a red brown, right? And how about the regular potato? It's like a light white brown, right? Now, when we take a look at the inside of a potato versus a sweet potato, that is where the key to the difference really is, in that the sweet potato is red-orange on the inside, right? And the regular potato is just plain white on the inside. So let's talk a little bit more about sweet potatoes, potatoes, and just fruits and vegetables in general. Miss Sam is going to introduce a concept called my plate. Raise your hand if you have heard of my plate before today. Hopefully I'm seeing a couple hands go up. So my plate, which I will show you now, is designed to be a tool to help us envision what our plate should look like when we're eating. So that way we can see visually what we should be eating. So if you take a look at my plate, it has a lot of different colors on it, right? What colors do you guys see on my plate? Red, orange, green, purple, and then the last little circle, blue, correct. Now each of these colors is designed to represent a different food group. Do you guys know what a food group is? A food group is how we group together different kinds of foods that provide different nutritional value to us. So now that we took a look at my plate, let's talk about what each of the colors on my plate represents. The first color I want to talk about is orange, which represents the grains group. What are grains, you ask? Well, if you take a look at the poster again, you'll see that included in the pictures are things like cereal, bread, um, another grain could be rice. So grains are items that come from things like wheat, corn, oats, rice. And grains are very, very important because they give us the energy to go outside and play, right? So grains are very important. Now we typically want to try to make half our grains whole grains, which we can talk about more later. But when you make your grains whole grains, it helps you feel full longer and it helps you go to the bathroom more easily. So grains are a very important part of our diet because they give us that energy to play. The next color we're going to talk about is the color green. Now green here represents vegetables. Can anybody take a look at this poster and tell me two of the vegetables that are in there that we may have been talking about today? Yeah, sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, right? Also, the last two things we talked about, spinach and crookneck squash, will also fit into this category of vegetables, which are food from plants. Now, vegetables are really important to us because they keep us healthy. They provide us with different vitamins and minerals. We want to try to eat a rainbow, which means different colored fruits and vegetables. You don't just want to eat white vegetables all the time. You want to eat different colors. Eat a rainbow because it helps keep you healthy. The next color I want to talk about is the color red. Now red is kind of similar to our vegetables. It's also food from plants, but that's our other food group called fruits. Now fruits are also very important to our diet and we also want to eat a rainbow of fruits. Another really cool thing that you'll notice about my plate is that if you cut it in half, 
fruits and vegetables fill up a whole half of the plate. That means that my plate is designed so half of your plate should be food from plants. Isn't that so cool? So fruits help us to stay healthy. And again, we wanna eat a lot of different colors so we get different vitamins and minerals. So let's move on to our purple section of the plate. Does anybody know what the purple section represents? The purple section represents protein, right? Protein is really important, and there are different types of protein. There are plant-based sources of protein and animal-based sources of protein. Can anybody raise their hand and give me an example of an animal-based protein? Correct. Chicken, beef, those are all animal sources of protein. Can anybody give me an example of plant-based protein? Yeah, beans or tofu, those are really good examples of plant-based protein. So protein is super important because it helps us grow and develop muscles, which are super important on our body, right? We all wanna have a lot of muscles, right? So we wanna make sure we're eating protein. When we're choosing protein, we wanna choose lean or less fatty proteins. So make sure you remind your mom that you need some lean proteins, right? So the very last section is the blue circle. All by itself out there. Does anybody know what the blue circle represents? The blue circle represents our dairy section. Now dairy includes things like yogurt, milk, cheese, and now when we're eating dairy foods, we want to try to make sure we choose low-fat dairy foods or fat-free. Does anybody know why? Because the low-fat and fat-free dairy foods offer the same amount of vitamin D, calcium, and other valuable nutrients without the added fat. So they're just as healthy for you, but without all that extra fat. So we wanna choose the low fat and fat free dairy. And dairy is super important because it helps us build strong bones. And we really need strong bones to hold us up, right? So the blue circle represents dairy, which includes cheese, yogurt, and milk. All right.